Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers. So if you're looking for a new trailer, everything from bumper pulls to living quarters, even toy haulers in those two brands. If you're looking for used trailers, we take in a large variety of trailers in on trade or even buy outright other people's trailers. But you have a large selection when you come visit us here at TransWest. Right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver, very convenient location. We do offer financing with approved credit, as well as we can ship nationwide. So if you guys have any questions on that end, you're always welcome to give us a call and we can get you set up to get these trailers to you. Today, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of our new trailers. This is a really popular little model. This is a Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. We carry a lot of these little two and three horse bumper pulls. We like to have a variety here on the lot in different colors and layouts so that if you're driving by on I-25 and you need a trailer, you need to trade off the one you've got, we might have one sitting here available that's gonna suit your needs. So on these inventory bumper pulls, we try and keep it pretty simple with a few little nice upgrades that make it just a lot easier to use. Uh, it's not over the top extravagant. If you wanna build something with a hay pod, extra stalls, extra height, extra width, we can do a custom trailer and our timelines are really not that bad for using trailers. So you can always check into that, into that with us. We've done some really cool custom builds. Cool thing about these Cimarron trailers is they are all custom built trailers. So even if you see it here on our lot in inventory, it was us that put together the spec sheet and the drawing. We worked with the people at Cimarron uh, to custom build the ones that you see here today. So we went in and picked this silver metallic sheet color. Your standard options are white. If you pan over that way, you can see that we've got a large variety of colors from black to charcoal metallic to uh, silver metallic. Lots and lots of options for colors. If you want to get crazy custom on colors, they have a whole bunch of different sheet colors that they can order in for a slightly higher price. I've had everything from Pepsi blue to, you know, a stucco white. So there's lots of different options if you want something really custom made. Right here at the front, we've got a single leg jack here. And Cimarron does a three foot tongue on this. And you'll notice a lot of trailers are gonna be, in the bumper pulls are gonna be a lot shorter uh, on this tongue length. I pull a Cimarron and I really like that, that little extra length on the tongue. I don't have to worry quite as much about getting into my truck if I'm trying to turn really sh tightly. And I feel like it pulls a lot better. So that comes standard if you're towing behind a motorhome we have the ability to lengthen that tongue even more, and that's gonna help get you the clearance that you need. Right here, I've got the diamond plate on the lower portion and then the stainless uh, polished sheet up above. This is where a lot of the wear and tear will be on your bumper, trailer, bumper pull trailers. If you are driving down a gravel road, your tires are gonna be flinging up those rocks right in this area. So we like to run that diamond plate up 18 inches is kind of what we do for most of our trailers, but I've had people run them 24 inches and, and beyond. So if you wanted to, you could run that diamond plate all the way up. It's a little heavier than these 050 uh, aluminum sheets here, but it is something that you can do. They are, they are quite a bit better at taking a lot of abuse on the front of the trailer. So that's why you'll see them down there. Right here, we're gonna work our way around to our tack room. Just so you guys can get some ideas on dimensions of this three horse, we're a standard trailer here. So Cimarron's standard horse height is seven one tall. You can go up every three inch increments from there. So seven four would be your next. Seven seven and seven ten are our warm blood heights. So if you wanted to build a bumper pole that was standard width and seven seven tall, that's always an option. Um, if you want to go wider on your trailers, you can always do seven, six, eight wide, or even eight, four wide. So you have a lot of options just in the actual dimensions of your trailer. You are 18 feet, nine inches of floor length on this one. So it's really nice. You can hook it onto a smaller, smaller tow vehicle. 
This is a great runaround option or a forced trailer for somebody that wants to be able to hook up to a large variety of vehicles. On these trailers, we've been ordering all of them with these 42 inch wide doors and the fold down steps. The fold down steps with gas shocks are a huge uh, addition, a huge upgrade on these trailers. It's so funny. We used to do just running boards all the way forward and we'd option a couple of them with steps, but almost everybody is just over the moon about having the easier access to step up and down into these trailers. These running boards on these 610 wide trailers are, are not set too much far, farther down than your door frame. So you're not saving that much if you're stepping onto the running board. So having that fold down step, it just makes it so much easier to get in and out. The nice thing about these 42 inch wide doors is they allow us to put in these nice big swing out saddle racks. And these are also on a gas shop. So they swing out nice and easy, but having that wider door frame accomplishes a couple things. Number one, if I've got my saddle swung out here, I don't have to swing them all the way back in to go in and grab my bridles or go in and grab anything else I need from the tack room. I can leave these out. The other nice thing is if you've got big Western saddles, maybe roping saddles, a lot of swing out saddle racks will catch those saddles as you're coming out the door frame because they don't they always just hang exactly perfectly straight on there. So having a little bit more room is going to protect your saddles, going to give you more space to walk by. We do a little brush tray on the door. This brush box has holes drilled in it. So if you are like me and you throw all your shampoos, conditioners, detanglers, fly spray in here, it's going to get gunky at some point. You can just spray it out really easy to clean. If you'd prefer, we have a tack door organizer that we can put on instead, or some people have gone in and carpeted this and hung their bridle hooks out here. So lots and lots of options just on the door. We're gonna go ahead and step into the tack room here. This is a four foot five inch short wall. So that's from this point over here to the very front of the nose. So it's kind of your length on these bumper pull tack rooms. You can add length in these as well. So if you need an oversized tack room, we've had people build nice big tack rooms on their bumper pulls. We've got a closed bar in the nose here. You can hang your show shirts and jackets up there. And then anytime we do bridal hooks, you're always going to have carpeting behind. So uh, 12 bridal hooks is standard on this, but if you ever wanted to go in and add more, that's always an option. You can carpet this entire wall if you want to, if you're to order one. Um, we, we change it up a little bit, but it seems like a lot of people like to put a little bit more carpeting on there. We've also got carpeting on the floor on this one. We have two other options for floor. You can do rubber mats or there's a rubberized tread that we can put in here that doesn't have any seams. And we've been playing around with that quite a bit as well. You've got your spare tire in here. It's gonna be the same tire as what you've got running on the ground. So on these three horse bumper poles, we do the 16 inch wheels and tires. They're load range E, they're all nitrogen filled uh, and they come with their own warranty. So the warranty on these tires is actually a one year no questions asked. So even if you have an issue with your tires, they're gonna send you a replacement at no cost to you. Two year roadside assistance and five year against any manufacturer defects. So even the tires themselves have really great warranties on them. Uh, the axles underneath this trailer, since it's a three horse, uh, Cimarron doesn't mess around. They make sure they've got plenty of axle underneath their trailers for whatever you're loading in there. So you're running on two 5,200 pound rubber torsion axles. Plenty of axle underneath this three horse. In this corner here, you do have a 25 gallon water tank. It's got a little stand with a hose underneath. Really easy, fill it at the top. Uh, you've got the drain here at the bottom. One thing I always remind people is make sure that they've got that valve closed before they go to open it. Um, otherwise, you could end up walking away and, and having a nice little puddle when you get back. Inside here, you guys notice it's nice and bright. I've got a nice little OptiBright light in here. It's all LED. These are actually standard on your Cimarron's now. So we used to upgrade all of our trailers to these OptiBright lights and now um, Cimarron has made them a standard option. 
They are amazing. They put out so much light, low power draw. They're LED, so they last a really long time. On the actual saddle rack itself, uh, these tiers can actually move up and down. So just get yourself a little wrench. You can loosen top and the bottom bolts and slide them to your preferred height. These blanket bars are the same. If you ever need to add additional tiers or additional blanket bolts, then it's really easy to just go and add them in. All right, so as we're working our way down the side here, you'll notice that on almost every one of our Cimarron's, we've got these extrusions running up the sides here. And these extrusions, they not only give it a nice, clean, sleek appearance, you know, you're not gonna see rivets on the outside. Uh, Cimarron's, I think, are one of the best looking trailers out there. They actually have some nice structural components to them as well. These are triple hollow slats. They're interlocking, so anytime you can add uh, a radius to something, you give it more strength. I always love for when people show up here, I love for them to go and knock on the sidewalls of these trailers and they're always so impressed with how sturdy these trailers are. Uh, but those interlocking slats, it's going to add a lot more strength as well. So almost everything on this trailer is a giant puzzle piece. It's all an extrusion. Everything is interlocking and Cimarron owns all the dies for their extrusion. So like their rear post, it's all one piece. Where on a lot of competitors, they'll have three pieces uh, welded together. By having that one solid piece that interlocks into the rest of the frame, you're eliminating weak points where the welds are, uh, which is gonna increase the overall strength of your trailer. So if you guys are ever looking for a lesson on how well built these Cimarron's are, are uh, they go above and beyond. It's the only thing I load my horses in. I absolutely love my Cimarron trailers. Bus windows on the hip side. If you want, you can always do drop down windows or uh, air gaps if you want to do plexiglass inserts. But you've got options for that as well. Sometimes people will go in and they'll do every other drop down, uh, especially on our big trainers trailers. Drop downs tend to get a little bit pricier, so they still want all of that additional airflow that you get on those drops. but keep the price down a little bit so you have the ability to tell them exactly what you want on these trailers. 16 inch awning light on each side of the trailer so that if you are tacked up or loaded or sorry if you're getting your horses saddled up at night you're going to be able to see what you're doing make sure you're saddling the right horse um, with those with those lights. I actually have a customer who put three on his little five horse that he's got and you put them all the way down on each side and he said that people will park next to him because they love how much light his trailers put off they don't have to use their batteries so those lights are really really great as we work our way around here you're going to see that we have some big 60 40 doors on the 610 wide split if you've got really well broke horses it's really nice to be able to just open one door load them in and out and not have to wrestle with these two doors Every door will have a hold back, so if you're worried about wind, that's gonna help keep that from slamming on your horse's butt as you're trying to load them in and out. Standard, you'll get a window on this rear door on the hip side here. You can always add a small window to this side as well. But this is kind of the layout of how we do our standard inventory, three horse bumper pulls and two horse bumper pulls here. If you were to want a folding rear tack, they um, can have a slightly different setup, but that is always an option too if you want a folding rear tack. If you want a side load bumper pull with a full width rear tack, we've done them. We have cool videos of them, so you can always check into that as well. When you have this full access here, you're going to have a strap that goes all the way across. If you've got a folding rear tack, you'll have a little butt bar that you can drop. All right, in the actual stall area, on this particular one, we did a partial and a stud divider. On these three horses, the wheel wells and the axles are far enough back that it gives us enough room to have an escape door. On the two, two horse trailers, we just don't have enough room between the axles to give yourself an escape door. So that's why a lot of people will go with a three horse, even if they only have two horses gives them one extra stall for feed, hay, uh, buckets, coolers. They can throw all that up front. It's not gonna slide back into their horses. 
they can easily access it without unloading their horses and they can still bring their two horses along. So nice little option for the three horse. We have some nice size stalls on these Cimarron's. So they do a 39, 39 and 46 inch wide stall here. So your last horse, we like to give them just a little bit more room so that they can get their butt swung around and get in here comfortably without feeling like you're just shutting the door on top of them. We also add a little bit more length to this last stall. So if you ever had to, you can run with these dividers wide open and you're not gonna have to worry about them hitting the door. These dividers are spring loaded and we're at kind of a tilt here and they're still holding pretty good against the wall there. But the nice thing is when you're loading these horses in and out, a lot of times you've got horse in one hand, you've got one free hand to use. So everything is gonna be easy to operate with one hand. I can shut the dividers securely with one hand. I can open them easily with one hand. Uh, everything's just gonna be super simple to use. For each stall, you're gonna have a roof vent. So you can, these are two-way roof vents. You can suck air in or, suck, or, or push air out, depending on which direction you go. Every single Cimarron is gonna come standard with this roof right here. So this roof is one of the best selling features on a Cimarron. Uh, I'm completely sold on it. I've, I've done some testing on it. We have taken the blunt end of one of our chest bars, banged on the roof. I've walked up and down without looking at these roof bows here. This roof is a insulated FiberTech roof. So not only does it have an R3 thermal value to keep those horses a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer in the winter, but that honeycomb core that it's got is incredibly strong. So if you deal with hail like we do, this is gonna hold up really well to hail. We've had baseball size hail hit these roofs without damage before. If you do damage any of those cells, it's just the affected cells due to silicone over the top of those and your roof integrity is still good. This is one solid piece, so you don't have seams that you need to worry about. They use a really high quality roof sealant on this trailer called Dow Corning 791 roof sealant. And what I love about that is it stays nice and tacky so that even years down the road, uh, you can go up and feel it, it's still pretty pliable. Now, Cimarron recommends you climb up there at least once a year, check that roof sealant. If you live somewhere where the sun is just constantly beating down on it and it's getting lot, lots of weather, you might have to replace it a little bit more frequently than obviously somebody that's barn storing their trailer. But I had an 09 Cimarron with an original roof sealant and it was still tacky when it left here. So really, really great options for your roof. Um, I think hands down your Cimarron has one of the best built roofs out there. Your floor system on your aluminum trailers. Uh, we do rubber mats in this one. You can do warm flooring if you want. But underneath the actual structure, your four inch centers with a V truss every other. and. One of the reasons I feel so confident loading my horses in and out of my Cimarron trailer is that I know when they're standing in here, all four hooves are on a center support. So it doesn't matter where they stand in this trailer, their hooves are a little bit bigger than four inches. So they're always on a center support of some sort. If somebody were to take really bad care of their Cimarron floor, they have the structure of the center supports to lean back on. Now, I always tell people when they leave here, make sure you clean out your floors, uh, let them dry. I put baking soda on mine after I clean them out a couple times a season or depending on use. So if you're using a little heavier, you might need to clean it a little more often, but we do not want urine sitting on the floors of these aluminum trailers. So as we work our way around here, you're gonna see these huge drop down windows. Now, since you have an escape door, you still have a drop down window and it's a little bit smaller than these ginormous ones, but it's still bigger than most of the trailers that I see out there. So you've got big drop downs for each one. You can feed and water your horses. Something that a lot of people ask me is, well, what about like a quiet ride? I know some competitors always talk about the quiet ride for their horses. cimarron has been doing the same thing for as long as I can remember. What they do is anywhere they have the ability to have metal on metal contact, where it's gonna be loud, rattly, wear a lot faster, they're gonna put a high quality plastic buffer in so that 
those horses don't have to listen to that high ting and rattle as metal is wearing on metal. If you guys have ever driven down the road and you've got some coins in your in your uh, cup holder and a, and a thermos on top, it is obnoxious. And your horses don't wanna have to listen to that as they drive down the road. So between the insulated roof, uh, having the stall area line and insulated, the plastic buffers on everything, it's gonna be really nice and comfortable, nice quiet environment for your horses to ride in. We want them to be confident walking in here. We want them to have a good experience while we trailer them. So Simran does a really good job on making sure that's the case. Maintenance on your Cimarron is pretty simple. Brakes, bearings, you should probably have it checked at least yearly, depending on use. Uh, another thing that you have to do on your Cimarron's that is a really great feature, get yourself a grease gun or take it in to get greased. You've got grease dirt hinges, top and bottom, all your doors and drop downs makes it so easy to maintain your your trailers. Uh, one of the things that we worry about on these aluminum hinges is them seizing up over time. So if you can go and add some grease, keep everything nice and well lubricated, avoid these seizing up, it's gonna be a lot less expensive for you and it's gonna improve how you use your trailer. So things like that are the innovation that Simran does that makes them really great trailers. So as we work our way around here, we'll get to the front. The stock number on this particular trailer, if you're checking us out on the website, is 5N221029. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. If you guys have any questions on this trailer, any of the trailers you saw, or you want to custom build one, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. Uh, I'd love to help you guys out with your summer on builds. Thanks so much for tuning in.